started playing guitar when I was 17, uh, just kind of on a whim. I got a $100 guitar from a friend of mine and I was hooked immediately. You know, I, I went to college for a short time in Missoula, Montana after that. I'm from Montana. And uh, I just played guitar more than went to class. So I was like, I don't need to be here. <laughs> I went back to Gardner and I spent three or four years living pretty much off the grid, no electricity. We had teepees in an old cabin. and. A lot of outdoor skills, hunting, and we did uh, nature tracking and fire building, outdoor skills classes for kids in the summer. And uh, through all that, you know, I, I, used to, I made bows one winter. I got really into bow making. So, like, the creative enterprise has always been part of my world, you know, even since I was a kid. playing guitar one day and realizing that I didn't even know what uh, the soundboard looked like inside of this guitar I'd been hauling around for years, you know, and I was like, that's weird that this is like such a part of me and I don't even know what it is. So that compelled me to randomly look up Luthier schools in 2003 and I ended up going to a school in Canada in 2003, the Summit School up near uh, Nanaimo, Qualicum Beach, British Columbia. And that gave me like the basic approach to building and the tools required. And then my grandfather had been a woodworker. He gave me his little garage pile of tools and that was kind of my start. And uh, 2004, I ended up down here playing in a bluegrass band. And I worked for a couple local furniture cabinet guys part time as I was kind of getting my courage up to believe I could do it myself. <laughs> you know, single musician for a bunch of years, so I just worked obsessively building guitars, cranking them out and uh, giving them away to my musician friends or whatever, you know, and when I would sell one now and then, I just bought tools and wood and just kind of started the ball rolling and, you know, 15, 16, 17 years later, you know, here we are. Initially, anybody can build a good guitar, you know, you, if, as long as you have like the methodology and the tools, you can build a workable, viable instrument. But in the, in the world of finer work and people that really know what to look for, it's those final last several percentage details that make all the difference. Whether it's finishes, the sound, it's like those little final details that can take something from really good to like extraordinary. The world of instrument building is so finite that you can't really explain everything. You know, you can make two instruments out of this exact same pieces of wood and they won't sound the same. And a guitar is essentially like a bow and arrow, you know, you have like, you have like the string projection and the, the neck and the body have a vital function with one another. They work together, they pump together, you know. The, the string activates the soundboard, which activates the neck, and the whole neck and the soundboard pump as a unit. If you have too stiff a neck, it won't respond with the top, and the string energy will rattle out against the fingerboard. Or if you have too stiff a top, the string energy won't won't vibrate because it won't have anywhere to. The top won't be working in conjunction with you striking the string. So, yeah, the, I, I'm not trained in physics or those kinds of things. This is just like what you learn being a player and building things and like trying to figure out what works or not. Yeah, yeah, I like the idea of what works. So this last year I've spent building this shop, which has been a really awesome learning experience, you know, uh, pretending I'm a carpenter, you know, <laughs> climbing on scaffolding, you know, didn't hurt myself. <laughs> I gave myself the five year plan 17 years ago, so. <laughs> which was to have my own land and shop. You know, it took a little longer, but here we are. Yeah, so I'm excited. I've had a year off and I got a bunch of work backed up and 
I'm, I'm really excited to see what would come out of the new shop, you know, the evolution of building, you know, sometimes the space quantifies the work, you know. I've always just had a derelict old building, so now we get to step it up, and I'm not even through my first run of instruments yet, so redefining my systems and tightening my ship up, all of the above, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. I'm, I'm really excited to dial it in. Once you do something one time, like all that does to me is make me realize that the next time I do it, I can do it better, you know. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it becomes an obsession. 